It's like uh, oh, it's way faster. And and people love those. In Omicron, if you're swimming underwater and you hold the dash button, nothing happens. But if you're above the water and like just treading water, then you can then you dash get a huge swim. speed boost. The, and if you go underwater, it's it's like circle on the control pad or like you know. Oh, it changes button entirely. It just changes buttons whenever it wants. That's weird. This is the same room, eh? So okay, so let's try bla- breaking the blue ones then. Yeah, maybe. Because they, they respawn. Oh fucking! He got wrecked. <laughs> like. Like, I get it now. You have to stand between... You have to get him between for, for the cannon, those guys, and they yeah. get destroyed. Can you not? Um... Not really sure how to get up there. There is a clock. There's a wall jump, right? No. It should be. Ah, oh, so close. The wall... That, that little wall thing is when you kick off the wall. Yeah, okay. That's, oh, that's I see. I see how it works. Oh, shit. I even noticed that because it's... Yeah, like, yeah, the perspective. Yeah. Okay, cool. Should be able to. Oh! <laughs> Still the most awkward whip. Like, the whip swinging mechanic in, in uh, Castlevania 4 is more... It's way more concise and it works better. <laughs> I don't even understand now. Okay, yeah, you see, you see, you did something completely different there, I'm sure. You just don't know what you did. I, I used the whip in the air to move forward a little there further. There you go. So the cannon's going away. That, 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 yeah, that went up. The cannon. So, so what so do the blue ones do? Do they do anything different, or do they just open the doors as well? Huh. Okay. It, it must have done something. Oh, well, that door is closed now. So I guess they There's open different flash. combinations of doors. Um, we didn't get a... Is that info. where you came from, the door? No, no, we came from another door. So, so maybe that is... opened up. Yeah, I, I thought this one had opened up with the last combination, too, uh, but maybe, no, maybe I'm incorrect. There you go. This is a special thing. Yeah. Hard max up. I'll take it. That's really good. I, assume, I guess that's I what it was for. I assume 90 is the max? I don't know. And yeah, I, I guess know. that was what that was for, too. Game's not, like, even super hard, so... I mean, unless not we really. get to a boss that's just really tough. It's hard to get this one, because, like... Yeah, he's 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 a bad. You can't get between them, but I guess now that I know poor how Minotaur these statues, they're having so their race snuffed out of the history books. Is that what they are? Minotaur statues? Yeah. I guess so. You know what I'd pay for? I'd pay for a Castlevania encyclopedia book that that's the entire bestiary of the series. That'd be really cool, actually. Someone I can ki- see someone kickstart this. Wait, uh, the hardcore gamer book on Castlevania maybe doesn't no? have that in no. there. It's a solid book. There's there's bits of it that I don't know. That you don't agree. And yeah, like one of the bits that really gets me in that book is they list a mobile port of Area of Sorrow. Um, and as I, huh? like I've looked, that doesn't seem to exist. Um, so there's a few little bits here and there, but the book's really good. I, I quite like it. It was a good read. Well, there, there's there's similar things Oops, to I'm that, on. where I, researching Prince of Persia stuff, there's several mobile things that mobile games specifically get taken away and delisted. Yeah, like, like feature phone games, like yeah, before smartphones. There was an HD port of Warrior Within on mobile devices that does, for all intents and purposes no longer exists. It got yeah. delisted. I can't find any media of it ever. Right. Because I don't even know what it really looks like. Uh, but, it, but it won IGN's mobile game of the year. Wow, really? Apparently. Like, it was like, this is the greatest mobile game ever. And I was like, what, what do I need to see this thing? <laughs> and it just, there's, like, IGN still doesn't have footage of it still? I, I can't find it. I just have to jump into the, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, no, I don't, get fucked. Because I came from down there, and I can't just walk down. Just die. <laughs> Die, I actually am really unclear on how you're supposed to get back. I guess you got to go through another door or some shit. Or, no, you know what? There we go. You just jump, jump down. Perfect. There you go. Skeletons are like, oh, he figured it Fuck out. Fuck these skeletons. Where's the way up again? Over here. That's good enough. I was really close, Leon. No, you got to whip. There you go. There you go. It's, it's, yeah, it's really weird because... Okay, so the exit's on the other side of the room. Remember this is the one where we found a second exit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a lot of platforming, like these camera angles, yeah, they're not atrocious, but they're not giving the most optimal view on how to do yeah. some of it. 
No. Like, specifically, like, anything that's very vertical. Castlevania 64, The Saint. That's what you're saying. You still don't know. I still don't know. I know it's that's, obtuse. It's the worst. I, I'm excited to play it, though. Because it does seem like a Castlevania game. And Made not like some you. shitty game that isn't Castlevania and says Castlevania No, it's, it's actually really not. Cyclops! So you're telling me it is. Oh, Agni and Rudra. Rudra. <laughs> They got different weapons? That guy's only got wood. That's not fair. Is this not possible? We'll see when you hit them. Uh, yeah, you're right. Although, all the... No, no. they're not. They're, they're, they're what's called... Uh, I wanted to give a different interpretation of mini-buys, but on bosses, <laughs> but it just comes up as mini-bosses. Micro-boss. Micro-boss. Me... Oh, rock-throwing. We got rock-throwing. Let me switch over to this good spell. Get the fire going. I always feel a little weird about when, a, like, Medusa Head, sure, I guess. But when you start actually throwing, like, fucking Greek or whatever mythology in there, where it's now it's Cyclopses and Minotaurs. Yeah, yeah. It's a little much. No, they're real, dude. And Golems. They're real. Oy vey. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. There's that one great X-Files where the... the Jewish people are really pissed off at these racist guys, so they send the Jewish gold. Wait, and actually? And Baldur's got to punch you in the face. That's awesome. Is it like a big rock monster or yeah. clay or some shit? It's, it's like a clay man. More ancient text? Event Map item. Five. Map 5. Nice. Map of the ghost. So yeah, I mean, if you were looking for a theater, you fucking found it. Ta -da. Okay, so it seems like we did that corner pretty well. And there's this, there's one room here, but that might, that might go further. Because remember, the maps are never 100%. Well, go into that room. And then there's the it. entire second The West arc, Wing. And then the second floor. This is the biggest area yet. I think, I think it might be. Or at least it's the most, like, with, with its layout, it feels like it. It's the wrong door. <laughs> Get on that couch. This is just one lone couch. Oh, is this a boss? Huh. Or maybe it's an inaccessible boss right now. Yeah, because we found that other one that yeah. wasn't uh, active yet. This is this the, stage, is the so three the bells. bells. The bells. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, so what do you think we're fighting in there? Like the dancers? Um. Oh, God, like a giant ghostly dancer would be cool. Because ghostly dancers are a thing in a lot of Castlevania games. You know what I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be like a giant puppet or marionette thing. That's yeah, they, they, they do that every now and again. I think uh, Portrait of Ruin had one of them. So. Um, Watch so, it be a werewolf. So the bell... Yeah. It was the bell beneath <coughs> the stage, right? Yeah, I believe so. So we've clearly got some looking to do because we don't have a, a beneath yet. Let me, let's just... You are on what F. Uh, circle button to reorder. I don't want to manually reorder. That's awful. Uh, when the, the bell, bells, when the bell the tolls thrice the under the rise. stage, the curtain will rise. Okay. You know what uh, that could it. be? You know what that could be? That could be just going to the other area of the map and there's going to be three bells yeah exactly and like how everything has required three keys or three whatever you're not wrong whoops nice. you're not wrong uh i think it might be just I, I think it's liable to be that kind of thing too i was expecting for something like more under the stage though <laughs> well you you told me under the stage yep it's what i expect oh no oh god i got a good hit in though Maybe you should heal or go to a save. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go to a save point, but I think it's not. Uh, it's not that far. The enemies are all fairly weak, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So wait, just around the bend and then straight forward, straight just on around until the bend, daylight. Past the mulberry bush. Get your hearts. After you waste your hearts fighting a door. If we fight this next boss and then we go back to uh, uh, Gen <laughs> Gandalf. Yeah. And if there's no further cutscene or anything talking about story, I'm going to be a little like, okay now. Well, there's still one area left after this one, right? There's five areas. This is the fourth one. So that's the thing. If Don't you're, get if, ahead of yourself. If you're billing me, if you're if you're trying to sell me that this is the earliest Castlevania game in the timeline, you think that would be the one that has a little bit more... A little more setup. A little more stakes going yeah. on. But we'll uh, see. Straight through. It's, um, I, I, I only expect the story to come in, like, after the fifth one, to be honest. Because that's the pattern right now. If, if there's anything before that, I'll be surprised. In a good way. But surprised, nonetheless. I think it's, I think it's in Curse of Darkness, where it has, like, the worst, uh, antagonai. Does Isaac, Curse of Darkness have a bad, Isaac, bad antagonist? I don't, I don't know him Remember, it's a guy with red hair, and he wears, like, black S&M gear. 
and he's going to. Oh, I I remember what he looks like, but I don't really know anything. Oh, about him. he's the the cut scenes with him and that voice actor are just fucking banana shoes. They're so terrible. I've been seeing some people telling me that like if we like this game, like we should like Curse of Darkness because it's just a better game. But I don't know, man. It's... We're, you know what? We didn't give this game a chance, so I guess we're gonna have to but, give but Curse I, of Darkness a third I, chance. I played Curse of Darkness maybe less than a maybe a year ago. I played for it about a few an, months ago for like... about an hour, and I was like, "This is so boring." Yeah, no, I really wasn't digging it. But I guess I guess we'll have to give it a fucking infinite chances, infinity chance until. Like, until we like it. There's still lots of Castlevania games, so it's like, at least at the very, you know, a one-off or something, but like, I don't know, man. A I, one-off I, like this was supposed to be. Because, yeah. But because Curse of Darkness always, almost always fooled me because I remember seeing that cover art, and I think that's and that one of the best Kojimas badass. It's so ever. good, yeah. Uh, and then I, I, I believe I rented it once on uh, my PS2. I played it once at my friend's house, Mm -hmm. Then I bought the I bought a copy of it, but then Ari loaded it. It's on our Xbox. It's on our Xboxes. Yeah, that's so how I played I it recently. I tried it at least three times, and I just remember going like, "Uh, never and I remember, feeling it." I remember reviews of it too were like, "This isn't that great." Reviews of this were pretty negative. I too, don't even but... remember them. Anyway, we'll we'll get to it when we get to it. I guess I must be coming up on the safe point. Yeah, there you go. right on my left. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh it's locked off until I beat the beast dogs. Yeah. Die, Shadow Wolf. <laughs> that beast dog... The, the fact that they have a spiked collar means that Dracula has a kennel somewhere. The... Put the spiked collars on the Shadow Wolf to make them have a scarier silhouette. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If they, need, if they have spikes, they They're not need. scary enough, those Shadow Wolves. I really like that water effect. It looks gorgeous. It's, it's really well done. It's it's the best looking thing <laughs> in the game. Not that the game looks ugly, but... No, no, the game's actually quite a looker, I think, but... Yeah, like I think it's I think, yeah, it's not amazing, but like it's, well, it's especially when good. you consider it would be on like a, a CRT, and the like the natural blur of a CRT would kind of improve the image a little bit, gloss over in that weird face. sort of way. Like, look at that water, and look at these textures, and all this stone. It's all nice. It's all sto It's all nice and and cryptic and Castlevania. -y. All right, for the, except for the whole like reusing tile sets. A lot. A lot. A lot. Oh yeah. Whoa. That's what I wanted. Fuck you, room. Like, right off the bat. Oh, nice. shit! I didn't even notice that at first. What a great room. I like this room. It's fast, too. Like, it's not... <laughs> Just Dracula's having, like, the architect design this room. No, but you must give them a chance. <laughs> give them a little space to but, move around. But, Drac, what's the, po what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> and he just runs off. <laughs> He's just crazy old man. That's so dumb. I mean, it's a, it's a gameplay contrivance, but, like, at yeah, the same yeah. time... Well, it's like Ganondorf. Why do you leave keys at all in the dungeon? Link would be fucked day why, one. Why don't you just take all the keys out of the dungeon? But, you know, you never know. Like, someone could have found a key that wherever it was hidden or just... Or, you know, they you, you, can, you don't know. Yeah, but, but that like, was a construct that someone designed. A construct, yeah. But, like, buy a key ring. Keep all the keys on your curing. Get a skeleton key. Get yourself a safe. Put your backup keys in your safe. Yeah. You know, like... No need to leave them in there. Damn it, skeleton. No, I gotta give him a chance. It's unfair. You're gonna get kicked. No. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I still like that move, even though it's not practical. It's like the the fucking most blisteringly fast move I've seen in a while. In um in area, you have really good control over the kick. What's that axe? Yeah, uh, it's probably an axe. <laughs> like sub weapon. Oh right, right, right. I forgot. I forgot. It is an axe them on the map. Oh, nice. Not bad. I like that. I'll stick with that. For if a that while. does good damage. I. I adore how many sub-weapon combinations there are thus far. And, like, every boss just gives you a new gem for more combinations. We've right, already got, right, like, yeah. three gems, so... And there's what? Wait, hey, that makes no sense. And there's, like... Knife, holy water, eight. axe, cross, and... Then, yeah, the uh, game's not... Gem. The name... Unless there are extras you can get, like, in bonus rooms or something, like, I guess the game won't be over after the five sections. we're... Honestly, I really do think we're going to have to backtrack a bit. Uh, because we've seen areas in each of the areas that are locked off. You It'd know? be awesome you if remember? you could do it. You they make you backtrack, but they give you a new character. 
Yeah, it would like be really co- cool. like uh, conch fist. They're not going to though. No, they're not. You're yeah, gonna never. do all five, and then we're gonna go to the end of that hall in the main castle, and then we're gonna have to backtrack through each area. Dracula's not here. He's out. Oh, oh. Please come back in a hundred years. When when his Dracula, strength is Dracula is was just a baby in this game. Yeah, little baby Dracula. Fight the baby. I gotta kill the enemies. You know, the movie's not very good. Uh, baby Dracula. Uh, well, almost. Uh, Hotel Transylvania. Is it? Because I've always looked at it, and I've been like, that doesn't look very good. So okay, I'm kind of glad to hear that it's It's directed not. by the creator of uh, Samurai Jack and the original animated Star Wars show. Yeah, the good G- one. Gennady Tabatowski or whatever. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, okay. But then you realize it's, it's an Adam Sandler movie in disguise because it's him and all of his deadbeat buddies... Every single character. I, I respect their hustle. I really respect I, Adam Sandler's hustle. I know. I respect the hustle, but I don't respect the movie. Yeah, I don't want to watch the movies. Because it's, it's, it's visually, it's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? It's Sony Pictures animation. Okay, because I, I only remember seeing the like CG renders for the the movie and stuff. I didn't and, actually like, see it. It's a just an Adam Sandler movie. Great. Like, in terms of jokes or whatever. And, like... So oh, it's just, it's just David that. Spades, the werewolf. So it's just a second take on that Hanukkah animated movie. I wish I never saw. Seven, Seven cra- Days in Hanukkah. Eight Crazy Nights? Or? Eight, eight Crazy Hanukkahs. Something like that. Uh, 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 Paul Blart, Mall Cop, is Frankenstein. Oh, and, he's a good actor, though. Anyway. We should see Mall Cop, too. Bad. No, we should we see why? Mall Cop, No, too. this is... Don't stop. I like the follow-up, and I, I actually like how you can... On enemies that are durable enough, you can actually follow up after that with the uh, try the axe. The See flame what, kick. To, to what oh, yeah. damage it does. Kills kill dolls. Kills all the, the weak enemies, which counts for shot. a lot. Get off me! Fucking gross, you guys. Stop it! So when a skeleton I should be parrying dies, more attacks. And it has armor on, but he has no armor attacks. on his legs, so yeah. he was basically naked when he died. But he had a helmet and shoulder pads on. I think <laughs> I, I think the idea is that the guy decays, like the body decays off the bones with the clothes. But he, but he had no bracers, he had no, uh, like... I mean, at the time it was all made, it would have all been made of leather and stuff, right? Maybe, and but so his helmets and his shoulder pads are hallway, so I'll just go back. No. Oh. Because it's just a hallway, you see? How do I, I fucking orient this properly? Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, you will See, never figure out my map controls. Yeah, exactly, right? Dracula designed that screen. <laughs> That's the cannon. That's totally the cannon. So he's like, yeah, you're, you're ow, super powerful. Ow, and you have stop. tons of great moves, but uh, I'm going to give you a hard to control map screen. Good fucking luck. It balances out. <laughs> <laughs> this game would be too easy. Yeah, that's exactly. it. So You're going to up to two F. Yeah. So like, yeah, I, I still wonder where those bells are at if they're supposed to be under the stage, but I don't know. we'll see. Maybe they're right the, here. The last time we came up to two F, yeah, we like just explored a tiny, tiny area. This is a lot bigger, so. Awesome. Now we're here too. This is also spookier. Oh yeah, the music changed. Theme of haunting. A theme of love. Hey buddy, how you doing? Or are you blocking my way? I like how you block too, because it like slows down your movement, so you can like uh, control yourself okay, a bit better. Okay. The more you know. They should do more of these gimmick trap rooms. They're fun. Remember, I think Lords of Shadow One had like one or two rooms that were like this level of trap, but other than that, it was like fairly trap free. Yeah, we did it. We do it. Because th- I appreciate that they have these trap rooms, because that was a thing in the original Castlevanias. Yeah, stuff, there was like, you, you had know, the little pressers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say little little meat pressers. Those are the ones. Man, that that's such a mecha- uh, or a or um, that's such an obstacle that died off when games became 3D. Yeah, because it's not... I it, think it, Federation it... Force has pressers in it. <laughs> actually. Uh... Like, again, like, well, it's been a while since the last one. I mean, like, as it went on, Ubisoft Prince of Persia's got less and less dumb traps. Yeah, they just have blades on walls and shit. Yeah, that was basically it. There was, well, there's there's crushers or whatever, but, I mean, it's, it's supplemented there by were the fact in, uh, that you have... Sands of Time, slow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah, spikes or whatever. Mega Man spikes should be in every game. 
little pricker, prickler spikes. That's how they get oh, you. There's a clock going on. What do we got? You got a knife. Nah, stick with the axe. Uh, I'll, tr I'll try it for a little bit. I think oh. you're right. I do think you're right, but I want but to try it. But I'll ignore your advice. <laughs> I, I, I want Whoa. to try the weapons, so... This is cool. This is fucking cool room. I want the lights to turn on. And this, they, like... they could get a legitimate scare in here if they wanted to. Yeah, but I don't think Castlevania has never been about scary. No, but they... That was oh, death. Oh, that's different. Well, Thank you God didn't it take... wasn't actual death. Yeah, you didn't... if you took damage, I guess your health bar would have shown. Yeah. I mean, I can check my health bar. Oh, no, I can't. Fuck you. Not allowed. What an odd room. It's very cool. I think that's really neat, but what an odd room. That was the darkness room. Oh, scary. We didn't finish Time it. Time bell. Ah, there we go. It will not disappear upon you, so you gotta use it three times. Okay, so yeah, that's we don't have to ring three bells. We just so have to take one bell and when ring it, it says three times. beneath the stage, I imagine that means stand in front of the stage yeah, and use it. Yeah, there's no, there's yeah. no It's much more simple basement. than we thought. Yeah. We overthought it as, as, as we are wont to do. Still, that's pretty cool, though. Uh, I wish the lights would turn on, and then, like, it would have tons of enemies. Uh, spawn me at the beginning, damn it. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not gonna spawn you near where you came in on the original. It, it's, it's odd how, like, this room has a bottomless pit like this when no other rooms had this kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and you're, and as, you're not taking damage, I don't think. I don't think so. Which is, I guess, still fixing the problem that they didn't like bottomless pits. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit odd. It's certainly not bottomless, because you just get up and start wherever you... It's like a Zelda pit, you just... Yeah. Although Zelda, you do take damage. You do take damage. Cool. That was a neat room. All right, and there's still there's still some upper floor left. Um, and I believe one of these... <laughs> I did not pay for the electricity in that room. <laughs> one of these floors, yeah, that, that big box on the, on the right, that one you can drop down to the previous yeah, floor. Yeah, it looks like it. So, I'll go that way, I guess. I had a dumb thought where I went, it'd be really cool. It's like a really slow-paced Castlevania game where it's really gothic. And I'm like, wait, I'm just doing the whole I wish from software. <laughs> like that we've all thought about a million times we talked about, but I thought about it in a different way and it came to the same conclusion. I want blood, like Bloodborne or whatever. Bloodyvania. Bloodyvania. Yeah. Blood no, it'd be sick. They could, they could do justice to it, honestly. This is just, you, you keep coming back to it because yeah. that's that's the that's, that's the counterpoint to that it doesn't need to be a fast paced uh, uh, God of War style thing. It doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. It could go honestly with Castlevania. You can do so much. There's so much freedom. You could like it wouldn't exactly be Castlevania, but you could stray and you could make something like a, a more horror-y or anything like that. It would still it would still fit. People would still say, "Oh, that still feels like Castlevania if you did it right," you know. You, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, know, like, you know... Like, Kid Dracula's I, I, Castlevania. I, like, I, I think Dark Souls is, uh, is is a different thing. It's a kind of a different style, but, like, fucking Bloodborne is care. just so... And well, like, old gods like what's, never, never what's, got what, into what's Castlevania. The, what's the style commonality between Castlevania and Castlevania um, uh, Curse of Darkness? Right? Like, like the very first Castlevania in that. Not a lot. It's kind of like thematic and like That's the character, the characters in the world is kind of the. What, You're in what? a big castle. Mm hmm. And then um, the fighting game, Judgment, Judgment. What? I I I think I know what you're going for. Why Judgment? Because it's spelt. That's how Judgment spelt with a G in the middle. That's true. That's true. You know, I'm gonna drop down just because there's always items in these rooms. So. Or dogs. Sometimes both. There should be honestly, I bet you money. There's both. Oh, there's, there's a, a door, door leading there. out. Oh no, Matt! I made a big mistake. You made a big goof. Should not have dropped. You made this a big is the goof. mask room. Yep, it is. I should not have dropped at all. That was a big mistake. Big goof. Fuck, because I was close to the end of that area. There's oh, probably something there. Oh well. Uh, clearly, I missed a door too. Actually, the dark. Is that the dark? Yeah, I missed a door in I the dark room. Think. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, let's let's go back up anyway. I guess. Bummer. That fucking sucks. That was a mistake. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's that's why we could hear that noise because. Yeah, yeah, but oh my god, it's a fucking trek back. Well, if you feel that we're not gonna have great commentary, you can just cut to where we need to be. I think if I'll you just want. cut to where we need to be because I want.